This is a standard issue commercial electric MS8301A digital multimeter. This belongs to Sharkley 627, I think it is. One of those. Um, last I was here, we needed this meter because they have a Honda CRV and it didn't start. And I said, oh, okay, do you have a multimeter? Let's hook it up. Let's see. So he gets the meter out and put it on the battery. Nothing. But the car had some juice, like the lights were on dim and that. So this should be reading, you know, 8, 9 volts, something like that. It should be reading something, but it was reading nothing. And then we tried it on another car that has a good battery, and we should be reading 12 point something or even 13 point low. And that was that. But for whatever reason, we were getting absolutely no reading whatsoever. So, of course, you know, I had to investigate. Now, I'm not going to be opening this up now. It's kind of just a show and tell kind of thing. Took the screws out and all that. It, you know, in here it takes batteries. I forget if it takes AAAs or a 9 volt or whatever. It takes batteries. So, there's that. And uh, the meter was totally dead. So, there are two fuses in the meter. So, the question is, how do you meter a fuse without a meter? Well, the answer was simple, but not that simple. The way this is constructed is built to a price, of course, and therefore the battery compartment, there are two spring terminals that just touch on the circuit board, or maybe the circuit board has the springs and it touches terminals on the back of the battery compartment there. One of the two, I can't remember. I think that's how it was. What I did have with me was a set of alligator clip wires. And th that was uh, last time I was here when I did the warm rinse option on uh, Her Majesty the Speen Queen. So we had to test a fuse and you couldn't see the, you know, you couldn't see through it in this meter. So how do you test it to find out if it's good or bad? Well, what I did is I used the alligator clip wires. And you shouldn't do this, but if you're testing for a known low voltage, then you can do that. So what I did was I jumped the fuse using an alligator clip lead, okay, and then I had to, because I had to do that, there's no way to access the fuse holders with the battery compartment, so I had to actually put alligator clip wires on the springs and then hold it to the battery compartment to give the meter power and then using the meter leads we held the fuse probe on one end of the fuse and the other end to a standard AA battery and we read nothing but of course hooking the battery up one and a half volts everything was perfect so I had to MacGyver that solution right there uh, to find out what the problem was with this meter like that and uh, it has since been fixed the fuse has been replaced and it works properly but it was just kind of an interesting thing where I had to engineer my way out of a, a, a thing here because we we needed a meter it actually would have come in handy for the uh, warm rinse option on the speed queen but uh, again I was able to get by without it and at least we found out what the problem was and it has been fixed so just a fun little one you can find a solution if you put your mind to it. That's all I got for you on this one. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.